Welcome guys, this here is Cyber Gaming. Today I'm going to show you how to make some extra cash off of a junkyard cart. Now this trick is for say you're lower level, you got a lot of money, you want to kind of splurge and get like a cheap vehicle to go build up and at least, at least make a decent profit on. Okay, so I'm going to explain what I did with the Supra first before I go to the junkyard because it does differ between vehicles. So I don't want to tell you this and then you know, you're like, oh, well, you didn't explain this or that. So what you need to do is you need to have your welder and you need to have your car wash. So if I this vehicle, the Supra, I bought at the junkyard for 11 grand and I brought it back, I sent it to the car wash, all I did was detail it. Washing the car does not actually have, serve a purpose for it. Uh, if you're OCD like I am, then you're just going to go ahead and wash it anyway. Um, but if you just detail the car your and watch your profit, okay? So before I did all this, this car was negative. I was going to lose like 2000 and some dollars. So if I would have sold it then. So all I did was detail it, which brought it up to around 1200, 1500, somewhere in there. And then I sent it in here on the lift and took my welder and welded it. I spent 500 bucks to weld the car. The detail was free. And so I spent $500 to make almost five grand. Considering minus the 500 to be 40, 47, 48, six somewhere in there so I'm making over four thousand dollars spending 500 bucks just to weld this car so as I was saying if you have a little bit of money to get you a cheap build you could do this little tip to bring in a little extra cash instead of having to worry about doing missions you know because a brake job only basically pays maybe a hundred depending on what you have to replace you might get a hundred two hundred three hundred dollars for doing brake build which takes way longer to do that than it takes to do this so we're gonna go to the junkyard we're gonna find us a vehicle uh, the vehicle that we choose is you know that's dependent on you it, some vehicles, uh, I tried it with the Hellcat. Um, I still actually lost a little bit of money with the Hellcat, but the Hellcat cost around 20 grand. So it really depends on the vehicle you pick. You could get lucky and get a decent profit, or you could not get lucky and not make really too much. Let's check out this. So this car costs 8400 Okay, uh, let's just check out this one since it's close. This one costs $76.74. Um, yeah, we'll try our luck with this one. So, $7,000, this car, $7,600. Send it to your garage. Back to your garage. And then once you spawn back in, send it straight over to the car wash. Oh, here's our car. You're not going to remove anything. You're not going to take anything off the car, out of the car. So, if you look, right now we're at negative. We're going to lose $1,900 if we were to sell the car in its current state. So, we're going to send it over to the car wash. So, uh, like I said, you don't have to wash the car. I do it just just my OCD gets to me and I think I have to do it. Otherwise, it bugs me really bad. So, wash the car, and just to show you that it does not do anything. We're still at 1929. Okay. So, a car wash does nothing. But if you do the detail, and all this is free, minus the 
purchase of a car wash. So with the detail done, all right, there's a profit, five, or $55 profit, okay, which isn't a lot, but it's better than, you know, going negative. So you're going to send the car back to your shop. And you're going to pull your welder. And you're going to weld the car for 500 bucks. Okay. So, oops, didn't mean to do that. We're going to make almost two grand off of this car just from spending $500 to weld it. Okay, so the Supra, I did it on that, and I could make five grand. So, it's just kind of luck of the draw. It's depending on the vehicles. I don't know if, because the Supra is going to be worth a lot more in the end, once it's built, that it's going to give me more money be for this tip. Or, I'm not 100% how it works, it just kind of differs between all the vehicles. So, like I said, you can get lucky, make a decent amount, or not get so lucky and make a little over a grand. Uh, I tried it with quite a few cars, and it's roughly between 2000 and up, is what my luck has been. Uh, minus the Hellcat, and this car is just shy of two grand. But, that is, you know, easy way. Easy way to make a little extra cash without doing a brake job that takes forever and you only make a couple hundred. I just made 1700 so that's probably, what, five, six brake jobs, depending on what you have to do in those brake jobs. So, just let me know what you guys think about it. Uh, give it a shot. Give me some comments. Let me know what kind of cars you've tried it with. And... You know, what your profits were if it's worth it if it's not worth it so all right i hope you guys enjoyed this tip and have a great day